Hi guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you guys a toddler summer haul. My daughter is 17 months and she's been growing like a weed and summer is right around the corner so I knew I had to get a bunch of stuff for her. She de definitely needs sandals, she didn't have any. I had a ton of shoes given to me and stuff by like girlfriends and stuff but a lot of them did not fit and some of them were not necessarily my style as well so I just had to go out and get a couple of things. Um, I was saying like in the winter, you can get away with babies wearing socks and little moccasins, but in the summer, they, especially when they're toddlers, they definitely need comfortable shoes or sandals to wear on their feet. So that is kind of what I went to do was to find, but I did end up picking up quite a bit more stuff. So <laughs> hope you guys enjoy my little haul. So one of the first things that I got were these sandals right here. Guys, look how cute they are. They are in perfect condition. They don't even look worn. They are perfect. I just have to cut this one little string off. They were $3.50. And where can you beat that? The thing is, toddlers, when they're this age, they wear things for such a short period of time and they're growing so quickly. So honestly, if you can find a really decent pair of sandal at a consignment shop, why not? And that was what I did. So that's the first thing I got. The next thing I got are these guys. Check this out. She got her own cute little pair of Nikes. Can you guys see that? They're from the consignment shop. They're $10. These are a little bit dusty. I could wipe them off, but overall they look perfectly fine because she's going to be wearing them to the playground and everything anyways. And they're Nikes. They're $10. I was looking online. I had um, I was on Famous Footwear that was recommended on my, personal, my uh, family vlog channel, The Zebra Tribe. On there, someone had recommended that I check out Famous Footwear and they had shoes on sale and whatnot, but the toddler shoes are still between like $35 and I think $50 for like name brand Nikes. So that's a steal. The next thing that I got were these, these cute little boots. These boots are adorable. Um, they were, I believe, $5. No, $4.50. They're $4.50. They got these little pom-poms. They got the little lights. They're so stylish. She could wear these with just like a pair of cute pants. She, they're just like high little high tops and they're comfortable. That's the thing I like about them. They, they bend, they move, they're soft, and they're just really, really cute shoes. $4.50. If you were to buy stuff like this on their own, you'd be spending, you'd be spending twice the money. The next thing that I did get her were these colorful shoes. They're not for everyone. I get it. They're a little bit different. They're like garden boots in a sense, but I thought they're kind of funky and fun and she can just spice up a little bit of outfit. Just look a little bit, you know, different because, right? And th once again, these are in great condition. They were $6. These are actually from a different consignment shop, but they're six bucks. They feel good. I'm not sure yet, but I might return these ones. The next shoe that I did get were, or sandals, were these ones. And once again, they're in fantastic condition. Great, great condition. Everything that I buy, it's always in like perfect condition. And these are Jimboree's. They're soft, they're comfortable, they're size six. So these ones fit a little bit bigger than her current foot size. So I'm thinking like at least come midsummer in the next two months, two, three months, she can still wear them, which is ideal because her feet are growing so quickly. Another pair that I love are these ones, these cute silver bunny shoes. And I'm gonna be doing like a toddler fashion haul if you guys are into that, but I'm gonna be doing it on my family vlog channel, so check that out. They're so cute. Excuse my hands, they're looking rather ashy, but oh well. The pom-poms are um, so cute, and she wore these to church today. They're comfortable. She can walk really well in that, and they're Jimboree, so you know they're expensive because Jimboree is not cheap. Because summer's coming up, once again, I said like we it was important to get her um, some summer outfits. There's a chopper flying right over me. Ah! It was important for me to get her some cute summer outfits to wear or just summer clothes. So one of the things that I got her was this cute top. It's a DKNY top. So cute and soft. This one, I debated this one because it's on the cusp. Like it doesn't look as new as I probably would have liked it, but it's pretty like, honestly, it's almost like if I were to wash it twice, it would get to this condition. So I'm not mad about it. It's cute. Love the color. It's vibrant and it's a name brand top. So that was $3.50. Then I got her these cute little shorts. Oh my gosh, it's not adorable. 
so cute and I like them because they're lightweight so on like a perfect really hot summer day she can have these they are adjustable I don't even know what brand they were or they are but I love the color and I thought they're really cute and then I bought this top I thought it would match really nicely with it together and it's got these you know little buttons at the back so it would look something together like this ah. no like I said, if you guys want to see the haul, I'm going to be doing a haul on my channel, my family vlog channel, so check it out. These I'm debating. These are Jimboree. These are cute shorts, but the waist seems rather big to me. They just seem so big. They're $5.50, but it says 18 to 24 months, and it's significantly bigger than the other one. So I'm going to have to do a try-on haul with this. I don't know how that works and why the waistband is so big. But it just almost feels like it's stretched out. So I will have to see. But I really like it. It's got rainbows on it. And I thought it was really pretty. And then another, I got another pair of shorts. These ones are white. I try to stick with things that can actually be worn with other stuff. Because one thing I've noticed with my shopping over the past year since she's been born. I bought a bunch of stuff that looked really nice. But then they couldn't pair really well together. And so you always, I always wound up with just mismatched things or things that just can't be pieced to make a uniformed outfit so that's why i'm trying to make sure i choose like bottoms that are very neutral as well i'm a little indifferent with this one because it is a little bit busy it's a bird but it's not it's really cute and i thought she could wear this inside so and this is joe fresh and i really like joe fresh's clothes to be honest if you live in Canada and you shop at Joe Fresh, I'd love to know what your take is on their clothes. Then I got this one. This one's so cute. I really, really adorable. And that's my little girl. She's so cute. It says I'm really, really adorable in white. Great, great condition. This is Carter's. I'm always amazed, like, at all the moms that have had kids with wear real, you know, white clothes and they don't stain them up. So hopefully I can do the same good of a job maintaining it and the next item that I bought is this one said it's called little princess on the front it's got a cute little crown and this is Oshkosh Bigosh and this was 350 so that's the thing like shoes are honestly like the same price as tops it never makes it doesn't make any sense to me last but not least I got her this cute little dress I know this was probably like my biggest thing I got her this adorable dress it's I think it's a dress from Frozen it's a um, maybe Elsa's dress I think it's a Disney dress and this was actually $14 so yeah this doesn't didn't feel like a big sale from the consignment shop but I do know that these kind of dresses cost money I think I saw one in the consignment shop like this or in the Disney store like this for $24 so I don't even feel like this is a huge huge savings but it was really really cute and I'm excited to try her on so that's it for my haul guys thank you guys for tuning in hope you enjoyed all the things I showed you here comment down below and let me know what you thought was my favorite my best um steal from the consignment shop because I love thrifting I think it is the way to go not just for moms who are on a budget but just to save your money save your coins because at the end of the day, kids only wear what they wear for so long. And you, I can go up there and buy something for 20 bucks, 30 bucks, and she wears it once and it gets ruined. It's just clothes. So that's just my motto. I'd love to hear your take on it. So thank you guys for watching and much love. Bye, guys.